let's face it, um, everyone was pretty pumped for the new iPhone. Pre-orders were crazy. People couldn't wait to get their hands on it. But now that, you know, the excitement's died down a little, it seems like a lot of you are dealing with uh, some battery issues, to oh, put yeah. it lightly. Yeah, definitely not the best look when your brand new top-the-line phone can't even last through the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's what we're diving into today. We're going to try to unpack this whole iPhone 16 battery drain thing. We've got a ton of articles, forum posts, even some personal stories from you guys listening. So, Oh, yeah, we're going to dig into all of that, see if we can figure out what's going on. Is it iOS 18? Are those pro models uh, really taking the biggest hit? And more importantly, what can you actually do about it while you wait for, you know, hopefully an update from Apple? Right. And speaking of, you know, all those sources we have, I'm seeing a lot of red flags, and it's not just from, you know, the usual tech reviewers. This is like everyday people. Absolutely. What's really striking is how many people are complaining about this, and they're all saying the same things. You see it on Reddit, Apple support forums, people are posting about it on social media. They're genuinely frustrated. And I got to say, rightfully so. This isn't just a handful of isolated cases. It seems pretty widespread. Yeah, and, you know, going from 100% battery to, like, almost dead in a few hours. That's not just a minor inconvenience. That's a big problem. Some of the stories on Reddit, I mean, they're kind of painful to read. Like there's this one user goes by Reddit sucks 12, right? They upgraded from an iPhone 13 Pro Max to the 16 Pro Max. Oh, ouch. That's a big jump in theory, battery wise, right? Exactly. But they're saying they're losing like 15, 20 percent battery overnight yeah. by just sitting there. See, that's the thing that's really protecting the pro models. They have bigger batteries. It's one thing if it's happening during heavy use, but overnight that just screams that something's off. Something's running in the background that shouldn't be. And it's not just, you know, anecdotal evidence either. We've got people doing some real detective work like Bill Apprise. On Reddit, they did this whole side by side test with their iPhone 14 Pro and the new 16 Pro. Same usage patterns, left them both idle for like 36 hours. And guess what? I'm going to guess. The 16 Pro was basically dead and the 14 Pro was still going strong. Pretty much. Yeah. The iPhone 16 Pro was down to 58%. The 14 Pro still had 85%. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a huge difference. That's not just the usual, you know, newer phone, more battery drain thing. Something else is going on there. Right. And here's the thing. It's not like people aren't trying to, like, fix it themselves. Users are doing all the usual stuff. Turning off the always-on display, disabling background app refresh, even going full-on airplane mode. But, but nothing seems to be working. Exactly. And you know what? That's actually what makes this even more concerning. When those basic troubleshooting steps don't do anything, it usually means it's not just you. It's not your phone specifically. It's probably a software issue. And, you know, everyone's pointing fingers at iOS 18, right? A lot of the articles we looked at, like, uh, pauses. Well, a bunch of them. They're all saying it's the new operating system. And get this. It's not even just the iPhone 16. Oh, so even older iPhones that got updated are having problems. Yeah, seems like it. If you updated to iOS 18, you might be dealing with the battery drain, too. Which is, you know, the catch with these new iPhones, you can't just downgrade back to the old iOS. You're kind of stuck. Stuck with a phone that drains battery like it's going out of style. But you know what? It's funny because hasn't Apple had this problem before? Didn't yeah. they have a battery drain issue a while back? You know what? You're totally right. I think it was back in... Pauses. I can't remember the exact year, but there was definitely a similar situation. It turned out being some background process that was going haywire, eating up everyone's battery. Yeah, and then they fixed it with an update, right? Exactly. They released an update and poof, problem solved. So there's hope, right? Hopefully they're working on a fix for this iOS 18 thing as we speak. Okay, so we're all refreshing the Apple website waiting for that update. But while we do that, let's talk about some other issues that are popping up. Yeah. Because it's not just the battery, right? It seems like the iPhone 16 Pro specifically, it's having kind of a rough go of it. Yeah, definitely more than just a few bumps in the road for the Pro. We're seeing reports from a bunch of places like Digital Trends, the Apple community forums, and it's not pretty. It seems like it's not just the battery drain. The Pro models are having like a whole bunch of problems. Yeah, and I'm talking about like random reboots, cameras freezing. Even just using the phone is like a gamble sometimes. And it's not just like a one-time thing either. Some users are reporting like their phones are rebooting multiple times a day. Cameras are dying in the middle of taking a picture. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's got to be annoying. Especially on a phone that's supposed to be, you know, the best of the best. You're trying to capture a moment and your camera just gives you the spinning wheel of death. Right. Or you're trying to send an important email and bam, the phone just restarts. Not a good look. And actually, speaking of things not working right, 
I was using my iPhone 16 Pro the other day, and the keyboard lag was driving me crazy. It was like typing in slow motion. Oh, tell me about it. That keyboard lag is something else. Actually, a lot of people are reporting that one. It's like the keyboard just decides to take a break sometimes. And, you know, when you think about it, this isn't just a simple software glitch. This is like a brand new phone, top of the line hardware. It should be able to handle, you know, typing without breaking a sweat. Exactly. So you're thinking maybe it's something deeper, like maybe iOS 18 and all that new hardware in the Pro. They just aren't playing nice together. It's definitely possible, right? I mean, the iPhone 16 Pro, it's got a beast of a processor, amazing graphics, the works. But if iOS 18 isn't optimized for all that, well, it, it's kind of like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Makes sense. Yeah. So, okay, let's break this down a little bit. Let's start with the camera. What are people actually experiencing? Give me the details. Well, it seems like most of the camera problems happen when you're trying to do, like, the fancy stuff. So live photos, 4K video using the ultra wide lens, that's when things go south. People are saying it freezes up when they're zooming or focusing. Sometimes the app just crashes completely. Oh, and don't even get me started on editing live photos. Really? Some people are saying the photos app just crashes and they lose everything. Yeah, it's a oh. mess. But here's the kicker. It's not just the camera app. People are having problems with Siri, the settings app freezing, even some third-party apps are acting up. It's like the whole phone is struggling to keep up. Okay, so it's not just like a couple buggy apps. It's like a system-wide thing. But, I mean, maybe some of this is just, you know, user error. Like, maybe people are just hammering on these new phones expecting too much too soon. That's always a possibility. New phone, new operating system. It takes a while to get used to it, right? And let's be real. We've all been there. You get a new phone and it's like, download all the apps, take a million pictures, got to use it for everything. I mean, I'm definitely guilty of that. But still, these are supposed to be, you know, super advanced phones. It shouldn't be this bad, should it? No, you're right. It's one thing if it was just a few people, but we're seeing so many reports, something's definitely up. And it kind of leaves everyone wondering, what can you actually do about it? If you've got a new iPhone 16, especially the Pro, and it's giving you grief. Besides, you know, chucking it out the window. Yeah, as tempting as that might be, I don't think that's the solution. So what, are we just stuck waiting for Apple to come out with an update? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I wish there was a magic fix I could give you, but software updates are kind of the name of the game here. Okay, but in the meantime, any tips? Well, one thing I've seen a lot of people recommending is carrying around a portable charger, a power bank. Yeah, like an external battery pack. Yeah. Not exactly ideal, but... Hey, desperate times, right? At least that'll keep your phone alive until Apple figures things out. And speaking of which, Apple does have a decent track record with this kind of thing. They're usually pretty good about fixing iOS issues. Yeah, they don't really have much choice, right? Happy customers, happy wallets. But what can people do besides like, you know, just waiting. Can we speed up this process? That's a good question. And the answer is yes. You can actually help by letting Apple know about the issues you're having. The more feedback they get, the faster they can figure out what's wrong and fix it. So report those bugs, don't suffer in silence. And hey, while you're at it, leave a comment down below. Tell us about your experience. Maybe you found a workaround. Maybe you just need to vent. Either way, you know, we're all in this together. Yeah. Misery loves company, right? Yeah. But. Seriously, thanks for breaking all that down for us. Anytime. Always happy to help. So there you have it, folks. Our deep dive into the iPhone 16 battery drain saga and a whole bunch of other glitches to boot. Keep those chargers handy, report those issues, and let's hope for a speedy update from Apple. Until next time.